Welcome back. Tim Wood is here, and he is, of course, our man around town in Bluffton in particular. And so, you know what? Halloween is over, and we might have some leftover candy, maybe just a little bit. What do we do with it? There's, there's all kinds of options. First of all, uh, there's annual pumpkin rescue at Whippoorwill Farms in Ridgeland. Uh, all pumpkins, uh, hay, straw bales, you know, all, the, all that decoration stuff. You right. can give it to them. They'll recycle it for the farm. Last year, they collected over 5,000 pumpkins and gourds and tons of hail and straw bales. So you can do that. Head over to Whippoorwill Farms for that. And then the fourth annual candy bounce back is this Sunday, November 6th, at Oscar Frazier Park from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Free admission when you donate a pound of candy, um, nice. which I think – most of us probably have left over unless you live in Cypress Ridge. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, bounce the houses, rock walls, slides, face painting, a food truck. The Cinnabon truck is there. Get there. Yes. Um, C, C Smiles Pediatric uh, Dentistry sponsors it. All the candy goes to Operation Gratitude for the troops. So great event. Excellent. So in case you didn't have enough spooky fun over Halloween, yeah. right, we're going to go to Savannah and see some ghosts. What's going on there? The Ghost Pirates. The, ghost the, Pirates. The, the right. modern league hockey team is, is there's a huge Bluffton contingent, gotcha. myself included, quite honestly, uh, headed over to see the premiere of the Ghost Pirates minor league hockey team this Friday. They're, they're in town all weekend and their, their home schedule starts, starts this week. So very exciting. And hopefully it won't be scary. Hopefully they're going to win. Yeah. So, exactly. Right. But that is really fun that that's coming to town. And we also have a pocket park that is going to be somewhere in Bluffton. Where is it? Right along May River Road down in, in, in Old Town, right across from uh, downtown Delhi. Uh, they're doing a grand opening. Just a little small park. That's why they call it pocket parks. Uh, 1220 May River Road. They're doing a grand opening ribbon cutting on November 8th, but just another, you know, beautification thing, nice little thing. You can, you can go and enjoy the beauty of Old Town. And I just love, you know, when they take that space and, and keep it beautiful for us to enjoy. I just love that. And so um, also, though, we've got some good news out of the Bluffton Bobcats marching band. Tell us what's going on with them. They've made it to the state finals for the second straight year. Uh, congratulations to band director Tony Granquist. They're the only Beaufort County school to advance to the finals and the first from the county to make the state finals two years in a row since the early 1990s. So the, the Bob Car Bobcat marching band is rocking it. They are. They're on fire. That's so exciting. Congratulations to them. Can't wait to hear to see how they do. You'll have to tell us that next time when you're here. Um, and we also have Out of Darkness Week that's happening. So what does that mean? Absolutely. So it's to support the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. They're doing an out of the darkness walk Sunday, November 6th, over at Oyster Factory Park from 12 to 3. So a great, a great event, to, you know, mental health, thankfully in, in focus and in, in, in the spotlight and a great event that they've been running over there for a few years now. And so how does somebody get involved on Sunday if they want to take part? Honestly, just show up. Okay. Uh, you know, it's, it starts at 12. They'll have, they'll have signups early. I mean, you can go to uh, the AFSP.org website to sign up, but uh, the organizers are just telling me show up and, and they're going to, you know, the more the merrier in terms of spreading the word here. Excellent. Well, Tim, you always have so much fun stuff to tell us and I appreciate it every time you're here and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Sounds good. Have a good one, Betsy. Stay with us because after the break, we're going to learn all about this year's Concours d'Elegance.